Hello, dear friends. We are close to the last days, but they want to manipulate that to usher in a sinister version of heaven on earth after an artificial apocalypse. Opinion piece. Solar maximum. The biggest flare. The sun is serious. High frequency bubble. Imagine a wonderful world. Unavoidable triumph of light. Let's start. This cycle began with a cannibalistic solar storm last weekend that launched five waves of solar wind that arrived this Tuesday, July 30th, with nothing lights. The same day, there was a radio blackout caused by another sunspot. The sun is not yet very happy right now. It is furious and could throw a tantrum at any moment. You can't blame it. A coronal mass ejection hit Earth's magnetic field on Tuesday, July 30th. The impact triggered a geomagnetic storm with auroras as far south as Arizona. A new sunspot exploded on the same day and emerged over the southeastern edge of the sun, producing an M9 glass solar flare. The radiation caused the radio blackout. The sunspot will continue to move toward a better earth-facing position over the next few days. As it rotates this week, we'll get a better view of its magnetic field to assess its potential. Some large flares are accompanied by strong bursts of electromagnetic waves that can interfere with radio frequencies and cause problems for satellite communication and GPS navigation. Solar bubble. The peak of this solar cycle is approaching and we are entering a bubble of high frequency energy waves, according to an updated report from Ashtar. It is very important that we are aware and active. This is a new window of change, a bucket of elevated energy that has the potential to accelerate us. Many have amplified the negative influence by circulating worrying news. We recommend immediate cessation of this activity. You possess immense creation power and it is essential not to allow the DACA forces to manipulate this power to shape a reality. Instead, direct your power towards positivity and light that will manifest the same in return. We understand that it is easy to become entangled in fear and uncertainty after having made our own journey of ascension. However, we recommend that you close your eyes and visualize the future you desire for yourself and the world, for such visions will manifest into reality. Imagine a world filled with peace, happiness and freedom, a world where darkness has no hold. This vision will energetically contribute to a global awakening and tip the trend toward liberation. Places of fear place you exactly where the darkest energy desire. By keeping the focus on the light and using your imagination, you enhance your creativity, your creative activity significantly. Visualize a rejuvenated, prosperous and flourishing earth with light and love and believe in the power of thought that to prevent the darkness, the darkest narratives from taking shape. You are on the verge of a profound separation from all these negative influences and it is time to collectively prepare for an era dominated by light and love. The misdeeds of darkness are becoming increasingly irrelevant as they do not ally with your highest path. We are working diligently to cleanse your world of negative energy behind the scenes. We encourage you to disconnect from fear monitoring mainstream media news. Instead, use your mental energy to create visions of peace and positivity. Such visions will manifest into reality. Arguing or living with negative news only reinforces fear and gives power over your life. Instead, choose to believe with your heart in the ever-present light and trust, and that will manifest into reality. 
Remember that this journey is yours. And while we are here to help, the battle between conscious light and unconscious darkness is yours to engage in. By not succumbing to the fear of the dark agenda, you attract positive experiences under the universal law that governs the world. Step away from any negative discourse, reclaim control of your thoughts, and generate frequencies of courage, bravery, and peace. By doing so, we take significant steps toward freedom. Dear Stasitz, with your own healing journey, it is important at times to block the movement of negative energy in order to heal. That is why we strongly recommend that you refuse all negative thoughts. Visualize a vibrant and positive path and pray deeply for the unavoidable triumph of light as decreed by the divine plan. You are already victorious. It is merely a matter of maintaining your light until we can see the truth. We are very close to celebrating a new dawn of unity and joy together. Stay steadfast and focused on this vision. We send you oh, we send you all a big hug. Fascinating ground crew. You are doing it. Computers. Microsoft experiences new outages after global crowd strike chaos. Microsoft shares fall after disappointing results. Amazon is launching a Palm-based payment system as transactional commerce device. Mark on the Beast, Middle East. Hamas later assassinated in Tehran. Israel strikes string Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. Tensions between Israel and Lebanon rise as Beirut is attacked. Iran warns of serious consequences for Israel if it attacks Lebanon. The US and the UK sent ships to evacuate citizens from Lebanon. Trump did his job when he offered Netanyahu a peace deal. He was rejected. Oil prices rise as geopolitical risk increases. France. Eco-friendly cat boat pets anger Olympic athletes. A scorching heat in Paris after rainy start to Olympic Games. Parisian Christians protested against Olympic ceremony. Christians condemned Olympic ceremony with drag queen last supper. The Olympics show the power of darkness claiming dominion over the earth, but they won't get it. Slovakia's deputy prime minister has pulled out of the closing ceremony, claiming its opening abused the beauty of a sport, in quotes. Paris Olympics organizers have issued an apology after severe black clash to the opening ceremony. The Olympics will run until August 11th. They are a powder keg about to blow according to Sierra. Thus it heralded the coming of the Antichrist. The Olympic ceremony has been described as the most anti-Christian in history, according to Michael Snyder. Time is moving forward, and it won't be long before everyone reaps what they have sworn. The day of reckoning is approaching. According to Archbishop Vigano, the Olympic ceremony has produced scandal, not only because of the arrogant display of the ugly and obscene, but because of the suppression of good and evil. The human being is disfigured because he was created in the image and likeness of God. First, death came galloping on a pale horse. Then Marie Antoinette decapitated, signing at the window of a burning palace. Then. Da Vinci's Last Supper ridiculed, followed by a blue Dionysius, singing about nakedness. The power went out and Paris was no longer the city of light. Europe. A European revolution begins when over 70% of the population rejects globalist leaders in elections. Meloni signs agreement with China to boost growth of Italy's automotive sector. 
Holland may pass law banning chained dogs. General Kaboli wants of anger in Russia, according to Sorja Fall. According to Colonel McGregor, NATO launches drone strikes inside mainland Russia and destroys supersonic bomber. They have crossed the red line. Macron speaks out in favor of Moroccan Sahara just like Sanchez. Spain. Sanchez files a complaint against Josh Peinado and invokes his right not to testify. The Spanish economy grows by 0.8% in the second quarter due to exports. Spain's inflation falls to 2.8% in July, its lowest level in five months. The Superior Court of Catalonia takes the amnesty law to the Constitutional Court, which it does not consider reasonable or proportional. Americas. Internet patrol and crime prediction, new cybersecurity policy in Argentina. A Chilean court orders multi-million dollar compensation to families affected by a prison tragedy in 2010. The Peruvian prosecutor's office files a complaint against the president for the alleged crime of genocide. Thousands of Venezuelans protest on second day over electoral fraud. Protesters tear down statues of Hugo Chavez in Venezuela as anger grows over election results. Venezuela demands that seven countries immediately withdraw their diplomatic personnel in Caracas. The Socialist International condemns the expulsion of Venezuelan ambassadors. Harassment of the Argenti Argentine embassy that shelters six Venezuelan politicians in Caracas. López Obrador says Venezuela needs to release the full results. AMLO calls for non-violence after the presidential elections in Venezuela. Borrell says that the electoral result in Venezuela will not be representative until it is verified. Hooded officials detain former Venezuelan opposition deputy Freddy Superlano. Venezuela in rebellion as the people reject communism and demand freedom, according to Mike Adams. We are witnessing a popular revolution in Venezuela, where the communist regime in power has tried to manipulate the elections, but the people do not believe it and are rebelling despite the repression. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.